Okay. All that good stuff. All right, y'all make some noise. Y'all ready for another relationship hour? What's up? What's up? All right. It's about to go down. Adult conversation up in here. Shouts out to everybody tuning in. You're watching uh, Relationship Hour. You can get your questions ready. And it's about to go down. And Kenya's going to kick us off and introduce our guest tonight for the panel. Yes, we always got some juicy conversation for you. And tonight, I got my girl. She came back by popular demand. Miss Juicy, the mistress. What's up, girl? Nothing much. I'm ready. You ready? I, I've been ready. They, I, I they was born ready. ready. They, they, they look ready. They look ready. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. We're going to see if they're ready. And uh, Miss Shanice Hill, I'm ready to... I, I'm, I'm ready to stir up some stuff. Now, she has the most provocative title to a book that I have seen, honey. Uh, Playbook to Being the Other Woman. What's up, girl? Hey, y'all. <laughs> Can you be the other woman? Who made that song? Uh, yeah, Changing Faces. What, about the other woman? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. One plus two know what I'm talking about, right? One plus two is a dictionary. Do y'all know who Changing Faces is? Anybody? Yes. Okay, look it up. Google it. I can't be the other woman. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> what is it, like Millie, Millie Jackson or something? Yeah. No, this, this was in the 90s. This was in the 90s. Oh, okay. I thought it was yeah. the blues. Okay. All right. Well, listen, and then, of course, make sure you come on over here. The conversation is always so much better live. We're at Silks at 21300 Libby Road, and... All the questions come from you. We get a chance to talk with you, talk some things out. We definitely need conversations these days. And my brother, Sam Silk, take it away. All right. Y'all ready for this one? Okay. All right. I'm going to some of these questions right quick. We get to them. Let's just go straight to the book. Yeah. Give me the book. <laughs> mm -hmm. The playbook. I the know playbook. Because I want y'all to get everything together. Get your questions, because you're going to have them in just a bit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to answer one question, and then we're going to dive into y'all questions, and we're going to come back, all right? Yeah. All right, so what motivated you, what inspired you to write this book, The Other Woman? Playbook to Being the Other Woman. Uh, what, ex what inspired me to do it was, honestly, the, the lack of game given by the women before us, because... Coming up, we were taught, you know, a man is supposed to only be with us, and if he loves us, he's only with us. And that was only half the game. They cheated us out of the rest of the information. Okay. Um, because monogamy is not the only way. And really knowing and understanding the nature of men, a lot of men, I'm not going to say all, but a lot of men can handle and would like to have more than one woman in their life, that variety. So I just thought we needed a playbook to let you know this can still be successful outside of monogamy. All right. All right, y'all. Y'all ready for that? <laughs> I need to know the playbook. Yeah. Brothers, yeah. this is a safe space. Safe space. So yes. you can talk. Safe, women, you can... do not cut no eyes at them. Let these men, let's Too learn late. them. So how did you... Let's learn them. Let them be safe. So, so you are currently in a relationship I am as such, right? Yes, I'm currently so, in a polygynous relationship. So on top of the cake is both of you all. <laughs> Wait, you, I, you, <laughs> him and y'all. Right? Yes, I do have a cake with one one groom and two brides on it. Okay, so how does that work? How does it? How does that? Uh, well, first of all, how did y'all meet? How did the? How did? How was it orchestrated? Um, it was honestly organic. It was nothing orchestrated where we were put together by people. We were honestly just at a, a church type of event and got to talking, build a rapport. <laughs> at the church? You know, I love the man of God. <laughs> I'm going to need one and more. And we built the report. Right. I knew about it from the beginning. <laughs> so you all was at church? At a church event. A church yeah. event. Yeah, a little picnic. You know? Okay. Y'all y'all members, or you was visiting? Um, yeah, I was just visiting that the first day I met Do her. they go there? They go to that particular yeah, church? Yeah, we were all involved in this. Yeah, she wasn't there at that particular okay. event. It was just him. So. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay, so <laughs> was she there? I ain't going to pull up on her man while she there. <laughs> Oh, Why wait. Not? Okay, so this, she was there before you were there. Yes, they've been married for 20 years. Shout out to Annie, I, my co-wife, and my husband, Dante BSP. Yeah, they've been together for 20 years. Okay. And, you know, I've been with them for six, so it's been, it's been interesting. Okay, oh, girl. six years. So, again, tell us how, so how, how did he approach, people can know, did he approach you, 
uh, that you see him like, damn, he looked good. He was like out of eye because again, you were at a church event or whatever y'all was, whatever y'all were doing. And then, picnic. Picnic, okay. And then like, how did that introduction happen? Like, how did that part happen? Really, just both being on a spiritual path and us connecting in that space, mm -hmm. building a rapport, and just learning when the, and it organically happened. And he told you that yeah. day he was married. Yes, in our okay. first conversation, just getting to know yeah. who are you, what are you about, and okay, you got a wife. All right, I don't even think about you, brother. All right, you, you got a woman, and I'm just living. And, and, and then what? Happens. Right. So tell me. So <laughs> he gave me. <laughs> so so how did he introduce you to? Uh, your co-wife um, after almost somewhere close to a year maybe 10 months of me and him you know building our rapport she did not know about me at this time but she knew he was a polygynist so she know he out here dating he was things. he was seeking yeah she know he out here seeking living his life and after he knew that okay this is somebody I can really bring into my life this is somebody safe to bring around my wife my children let me introduce her and bring her in and we met at a spot uh, in Coventry we sat at the table I, we thought he was going to stay for this conversation. He walked out the cafe and left me and her at the table with his daughter. And we talked like wrong women. So what was the first question? <laughs> and then we're going to go yes. to y'all questions. Get the study a drink. Another round. Get the study a drink. Was, <laughs> it's all around. All right. Yes, please. What, what was the first question? So he got there. He got up. I'll let y'all talk. I'll be right back. Yeah. Okay. And then what? It was. Or. Yeah, well, I mean, put because you got to put people on game. And we don't want to give the whole book away, but what's the first word? Like, what was like? What was that? that I'm gonna go to these questions. Well, of course, she gonna fact check anything that he didn't told her. She gonna ask me right. and double check. Okay, so y'all met when? This happened when? Okay, that was kind of fast. Okay, so she had to get that background information to confirm the things that he said to her. But other than that, it's just getting to know each other. What do you do for a living? You know, just really filling each other out. Like you would do a girl. Like, hey, girl, how are you? What you into? It was that type of conversation. We already both knew neither one of us are going nowhere, so we might as well, let me figure out who this woman is. <laughs> this is some good ass conversation already. <laughs> I love it. I'm, try I'm trying to move on, but we gonna come back. Y'all enjoying it so far? Yeah. All right, all right. Tone said, he like. <laughs> I, I need more. I need more of this conversation. This man is getting free right now. Like he's still clapping. Yeah. He's like, yes. Yes. All right. Oh, then we're we going to come back. I need you all to get a copy. Listen, listen. Hold Don't on, hold my on. Mom and get you a book. Hold on. Where, where is the book available at? And we coming back to where is it available? They can go online? Yeah, I got three copies back there with my mama. <laughs> but the, it is available two, online two. on Amazon. You got on Amazon. So you go oh, on it's Amazon. Two now. It's two. It's two. It's two. It's two. Um, but it is available online at Amazon as a ebook and also as the physical paperback. In the paperback, you get the full book. You get touch it, fill it, write the little notes in there, even a the little journal space. So definitely go support it. I'm Cleveland bred, fed, so support us, y'all. Support. Right. It's called Playbook to Being the Other Woman, and this is only book one. It's book one, all right? So get that copy. We're going to come back to more of those questions, and you all may have some of the audience. Now, we're going to get to some of your questions. Um, we're going to dive into it. How do you stop? yourself from being jealous how do you stop yourself from being jealous who uh, wants to go first here how do you stop yourself from being jealous that's a good ass question i mean just the awareness that you have an issue with jealousy and that you're trying to stop it i think any any problem that you have an awareness of, you have the ability to change it. Mm -hmm. So there could be a few things that are going on. You could be feeling insecure because it could be something that's going on in the relationship. You don't feel validated. You don't feel um, the emotional support or something like that. So you feel jealous. You, you don't want it given that attention given away somewhere else and you don't even feel secure in yourself. So. You know, that could be one thing. And it could be some insecurity that is with you, that you brought into the relationship. We all have baggage that we haven't fixed, but I think awareness is the first thing. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to say also take a day for yourself. Remember who you are. Remember what you bring to the table. Listen. Reevaluate yourself. That will put you back in man's mindset. Like, I bring all this to the table, and I bring my own table. 
Mm-hmm. So if I'm secure within myself by taking that day for myself, whether it's getting your hair done, thinking underneath the dryer, your nails done, and you look in that mirror at the end of the day, you like, you know what? I- I'm that. That is me. <laughs> Period. And you, <laughs> and you got to be careful because some, sometimes you get that jealousy can even be jealous towards your mate. So you got you got to be you know what I'm saying. So you got to check that, like you all said about you know self evaluation. You mess around and you know she getting this attention, he getting this attention. You not too happy with who you are, and then there you go. Because jealousy can hit all in different areas. I agree. You know what I'm Give yourself so, some attention sometimes. Yeah. 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 Paying too much attention to him. I I think. Y'all answers go hand to hand because yes, we gotta be aware of our emotions. Like me, I didn't took the time to figure out, okay, when emotion is pulling up on me, how am I feel how's my physical physical body feeling? My chest start to my stomach drop, my head spinning. I'm ready I'm ready to go. I'm thinking, all right, this is what I'm about to say, this is how I'm about to do it. And being aware of how my body physically reacts and my mind physically reacts, I say, hold up, wait, we've been here before. Nope. We're not about to do that today. So that's that being aware. And then, like you said, bigging yourself up, knowing who you are, having confidence in yourself. That's where that I'm that bitch attitude come from. When you hear Meg and she talking that talk or whatever it is that you listen Check to. Your that knees. Make, yeah. <laughs> like them moment, them songs that play, like we play them on the radio, we vibe to them and everything like that. That's not supposed to be a lifestyle. That's supposed to be, you can use that for a momentary thing to big yourself, put yourself back into position, then humble down. Like, all right, I am that bitch, but let me, let me relax. Yeah. yeah. So, and... And like you said, also, as far as jealousy can go, not just towards the other woman, but towards your mate. I think a lot of times women be jealous of the, the power of a man. He has the position to be the leader, the final word in the relationship, if that's how you structure it, because that's how I feel like it's supposed to be. We become jealous of his power of position and the things that he's able to do, so we buck against him. So that jealousy can go all around, not just to that other woman. Well, I think that goes back to revaluing yourself. You're supposed to be a woman. You're not supposed to wear the pants and the skirt in the relationship. Yeah, if you're going to get a man, this let the man be the man. And that's why y'all ain't got no man. If you're going to get a man, let him be a man. Of you can't make him be when 30% of a man. he who he was when he came to meet me. Nah, nah, let that man be a full <laughs> man. Don't try to dumb him down to 30% because you feeling insecure and you want to be in charge and everything. Then you're going to be in charge by your damn self. Be but you here crying like Erica Mena on Love and Hip Hop. Y'all, y'all, y'all done been to some For real. Time. Some some good uh, counseling there. That's no, 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 no. Okay, you know I gotta say something else though. Come on. Now, as far as a man being a man, be a man. That's that's cool. I ain't trying to step on no toes, but you gotta be bringing it. You can't be falling off. You have to take that leadership role. You have to be responsible in that leadership role. It's not just oh because I have a penis, uh, I'm, I'm you know the leader. Uh, I think that in relationships, you you have to look at everything. You might have a man, but she might be the stronger person. She might be the alpha person in that relationship. Just because it is a man doesn't mean that he's going to make the best decisions. Or if you're looking for that, you might need to choose better. Well, that's Ooh. him, him Ooh. and you then. That at spicy. that point, knowing y'all strong and y'all weaknesses. You know your strong roles and he know his, but both of y'all can only know that if y'all secure at the time, both of y'all. And y'all like, listen, I know you, I know you my woman, but right now I'm not feeling that 100% man. I need you to have my back. Well, well he shouldn't and say he's feeling that 100% man because then you might, you uh, might be <laughs> coming out with August Alcina. Oh, you, <laughs> you know what? Uh, August is trolling y'all first and foremost. Yeah, he is. That is his he, best He's trolling. He about to Isn't talk about his skincare so line you don't the believe next year you don't believe it either. No. He gonna be selling drawers or something in a minute. Nah. They both kind of pretty now. But let's, get, let's get to our next question, y'all, because we got we want to make sure we hit everybody else, and they want to come back here too. Uh, what is your in, what is your take on a woman with more than one man? What is what is your take is on a woman? Is she single? Say what? Is she single or, or is she poly? Is she poly? She, 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 she one woman okay. with one man. Well, I don't want to. I don't know who question it is, but it can go. To, is yours? So, what do you mean by it? Like she got she's, two dudes, or she just she just hitting off two dudes? She's single and living her she's best single, life. What's she doing? And two dudes are hitting it. She she's single, living her best life. A lot of saying, women okay. do that. Okay, here's my next question. Every day. Just because she got right multiple now. men, is she sleeping with all those multiple men, or is she going out with them? Like she, she's sampling. She's sampling. <laughs> so ain't not, I mean, you know. All right. Is the, the question is. What do you think about her 
dating multiple men or actually she she's in the, this type of relationship it's just our a structured relationship a structured, well right that's okay. what that's what this means I think yeah. it kind of goes back to how she explained they met be an open book about it listen this is my situation I, I like what I like this is what I got going on we could all sit down at the table and be adults about it if it's something like that, go ahead, girl. Live your best life. But most men are not going to agree. Real men to be, to be in a relationship with one woman. Ain't no dude gonna be playing house, no a house dude brother, um, living the same. <laughs> That's you know, not true. Okay, well, I say, I well, I just say, now. I just, I, I, okay, let's do, let's do, we'll do a poll let's then. Survey I mean, not, not let's in survey the house. How many men in the house to <laughs> live in? <laughs> Listen, how many men, hold on, hold on, can live in the same house with, yeah, so with another man? Yeah, we're going to let them talk. Anybody can. Give them a mic. It's okay. So, so you can, so let me explain it so we, we all clear. How many men are okay living in the same house with one woman? And that's both of y'all women. All right, go ahead. All right, so, so for that situation, it's called, basically it's called a triad, whether it's the men and women or the women and men. So... I'll give an example. Speak up a little bit. I'll you. give an example. When I was down south, uh, it was a dude that was in another area. Him and his wife. His wife liked what she liked. He liked what he liked. When they came in town, he would drop her off to me. He would go somewhere else. Right. But it was communication, and it was an understanding. And for you to be in something like that, that's what it takes. It takes communication and understanding. Could Most, you live in the house with him? With him? I, I'm a, if I'm driving a truck, hey, it is what it is. Or if that's the case. So, but you, you could, though. Yeah, you, you I, could. I, I, I wouldn't mind. And I'm going to okay. tell you why I wouldn't mind. Because we all communicated, right? You hear that? I told you. I, told I you. ain't doing it. I told you. And oh, no. I'm going to survey the room. No, I said, I, no I'm going to tell you why. Live your life, girl. Would y'all do it? <laughs> Hold on. Let me tell you, let he's, me tell you he's why. One. He's one. He's one. Hold on. Let me tell you why. And these two, would y'all do it? First of all, so it's three. <laughs> or three or four more people, right? In one household, could be a, a large house, could be small, whatever the case may be. That's four incomes working together to build something with each other, for each other. So now you got a big corporation going. Talk about it, Not man. based on do, your feelings. Do you love her? Based on, it's just based on business. Based on business and what the communication is. It's, it's the communication do, and do understanding you, is key. But do you love, did you love her, old girl? It, it, did, did I? Yeah. Yeah, I want to yeah. make sure you. All day. Yeah. All day. You still talk to him? We cool to this day. That yeah. was that was back then, but we cool. So can I ask you another question? Go ahead. Were both of y'all hitting it raw? Right. No. No. <laughs> no. How you know? No. You was in the bed. I wasn't. You never hit it raw. I was. No. You I was. I'm. I, I'm not speaking for nobody else. Okay. I'm speaking for me. That, I was. that don't make you uncomfortable sharing vagina. Hey. No. A lot of men know they share vagina. A lot of men know that. That's a good question. A lot of men know that. That's a that's a good question, right? And I asked, I asked one of my brothers that, and his exact words to me because him and his wife. Sometimes you're sharing. Hold on, his exact words. Listen to this. His exact words to me. My wife is doing what makes her happy. She ain't gotta step out because I already know she being herself and she doing what makes her happy. And as long as she happy, I'm good because she ain't gotta step out and slide with nobody else. If she doing it, I already know she doing. it. Hey. All right. Yo, 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 hey, yo, it ain't yours. It's just your turn. Remember? So, 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 so y'all, so y'all give it up for the man who was, who was. Yes. He was. He you was cool enough. Now, come on. now, would she be your? Hold on. No, come back. Come back. Because I want to answer this. I, was she? She wasn't your number one, right? Was she the only one? You what, was she wasn't the only one you no. was with, right? No. And so, so uh, let me put it like: if you met a woman, you was really into her, would you share her the same way the old boy shared shared her with the, you? If that's the communication that we got, and the understanding. If she said, I she no says, problem. "Hey, that's I want to be man. shared. I got somebody else, I but I want to be with you. We can live together. You cool with it? Hey, I ain't hogging the pussy. I'm all in the pussy. That's all I'm doing." <laughs> Somebody else? Why she got somebody else? Right. Hey. Uh -oh. We hold on. We got we got one more. Listen. One more. One more. Come hey. on, wait. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Hey, so uh, damn. <laughs> Come on. Say it how you would Speak say it. Nah, I gotta reword it. So you got alpha males, you got beta males, right? Mm -hmm. So with females, you have the same thing, right? 
So before I even say what I'm about to say, let me give my background on both sides. So I've lived the polygamous myself for uh, more than half my life. You know what I'm saying? I have seven kids from polygamous relationships. You dig what I'm saying? At the same How time. How many wives she said? I don't have no wives. I never said that word. <laughs> okay. I've been, well, she been, asked I've been the married question. one time. She I've been asked married one time. been married one time. Um, but in situ, like at the same time, I've had traditional relationships. Um, often a man does not seek multiple women. That is not how he's raised. If you look at black culture from down south to Africa to any section of black culture, he's not raised like that. Now, the Islamic culture, which is technically a section of black culture, that's something that goes on. But in situations where there is another female and he's looking to another female, it's often because the female he's dealing with is insufficient. Whether she does not listen, whether she does not play the partner world, whether she tries to be dominant, no matter what it is, he's only looking to that female, to another female, because she's insufficient. Because that man, the average dude over 30 years old, is raised in a traditional household or a household thought. You know what I'm saying? You got to think the household thought is not just black culture. It's also religious standpoints from Christianity to anything like that. Catholicism is preached to be one another coming together to have a unison. See what I'm saying? So it's not that every man wants to be in that situation. You got to think what each individual female comes with. If I got three females and these two like chocolate and this one like flowers, I can get them chocolate. She's still going to be jealous. And she don't even fucking like chocolate. See what I'm saying? But if I get her flowers, now they all appease. It's about having more than one situation that's a real serious situation. If you cannot treat them equally, then you are not even supposed to be thinking about being in that situation. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's reality. But the, the point I want to speak to about alpha males and beta males is some dudes might be cool being the dude that's sharing that female. It ain't no alpha of any animal, of any species that is cool with doing that. See what I'm saying? Either you gonna be mine or you can go about your business. There is, it's specifically something that men see about females that they don't always understand about themselves. Like, I can say what I wanna say? Yeah, it's all right, right. So, look, so look like a, 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 a vagina is the most powerful thing on this planet. Talk about it. You feel me? You can't educate that man with that pussy. Mm -hmm. You can make him act like you wanna act with that pussy. Talk yeah. about it. A dude gonna continue to come at you. Yo, hey, hey mama, all that. Because, you know what I'm saying, pussy is the most powerful thing in Cleveland. There's 21 females to every male here. You add in the dudes with an alternative lifestyle, you're looking at like 30 females to every dude here. You see what I'm saying, in this city. So dudes should technically have the power of selection, right? But they don't because pussy is the most powerful thing in the earth. See what I'm saying? It's crazy that they made a movie called Chirac about it where in they use pussy to control a man's mentality to make him want to do better. The thing that's lacking in the majority of communities is not only the equivalent of being equal to somebody else of the opposite sex, but that dominant female role. A woman can tell a dude don't go outside. It's, you hard pressed to tell a female she not going out with her friends. I don't care how long you've been married to her. But that dude, he know, damn man, I might not get no pussy. You know what I'm saying? He fucked up, because it's nothing to imitate the power of life or the responsibility of what it is to have a vagina, to be a promiscuous female, so next week, you insulting what it is to be a woman. Here, so he can do the man, he he do the man side next week. Because I got about 20 questions for him. Right, I, I, I have so many but questions. I like, I, go ahead, so baby. We got 20, because we're going to come back nah, to cause him. I, I know, like, yeah, give him, I know give the him. selection. That's you know what I'm saying? I yeah. know the selection, and she you, knows you my got lifestyle, a question? so. I just wanted to add on to something he said. Um, now, some of y'all might have been triggered when he just said a man seeks another woman because the one that he has is insufficient. That might have striked your, your cord a little bit, but that's all facts. Because depending on who that man is, what that goal that God has for him is, what his mission is, what he, need, what he seeks to accomplish, that one woman may not have all the gifts, talents, time, energy to fulfill everything that he would need from his helpmate, which we as women are supposed to be to our men. So you add that other female in there, she filling in that gaps and she's supporting that one that's been there. Everybody it's about teamwork, part. it's a business. Now I'm gonna add this, I said this today, right? For a lot of y'all folk who go to church, a lot of y'all, how many Bible readers in here? How many of y'all know the story about David? Talk about it. Huh? <laughs> David was a man out of God's own what? Heart, right? David had, he was a king, David had about how many wives? 
about 500 some wives. Huh? But David saw somebody else's wife that he wanted. Bathsheba. Thank you. And he sent her husband where? Sent him to war on the front line, got that man killed. Right. Even though he had 500, the 500 wasn't enough for him, for his flesh. Now, I'm just using my imagination. Out of all those 500 women, because they're not going to tell the other side, he had other people who was part of, you know, he's a king, so he had soldiers, he had people watch. You don't think out of all those 500 women that did nobody go and hit them women? The women didn't you. get none? Absolutely. I'm saying just use your imagination. While he's sitting over here and sent dude to war to hit his wife, and he got 500. Steve How many Wade. days is it? No. In a year? 365. I'm just using my imagination on that one. Maybe he hit a couple of days. <laughs> a couple of days. <laughs> hey, Charles, they ain't going to tell you that part. Y'all have a conversation they ain't gonna tell you themselves. Right. A couple of them went and got it. A couple of them went and, went and got some. but They snuck off? Yeah. It was more than a couple. It, it was a couple of them. But, <laughs> but the, the real ones out of those was happy to be called by his name, was happy to be called King David's wife. And if we got that same mentality towards the man that we would today, for myself, I'm going to speak for me. That's the mentality that I have, to be called by his name, to be his. Oh, I'm, I'm good where I'm at because this, that's it. Personally. Well, what about right. when the, the man isn't sufficient? What if he ain't hitting all the cylinders? What, what, what are we him? supposed to do? Who told you to pick him? Oh, so you just get rid of him? No. No. You don't just if add the man that you, if you find the man girl? if you find the man that you're with insufficient one, you picked him. You picked him as the man in your life, you picked him as the leader in your life. So maybe you got some self searching to do within yourself to see why did I pick a man who was not a fit leader? And respect the fact that I chose this man. He may not be the leader that I want him to be, but understanding that as a woman, because we got the power to pussy like you just said. We got the power to help that man yeah, become a lot of that power. leader you, by submitting you to him. You was laying him out. But why? Okay. You, so, you talked to Nick Cannon lately? Hold on, hold on. Ask him about how many of them kids is. <laughs> now, uh, okay, so I have a question. So if, if, he sh if we should have picked better, then why shouldn't he have had to pick better, you know, and had to work said, out? Why do he get to add to it and right. we got to reevaluate? Listen. Why, why I it gotta, come down to why morals and values. That's see, the double see, standard. See, it's more, it's see, morals and values. See, That's no, no one's perfect, so let's stop that. Nobody's perfect. You're not going to find the perfect person. That's why y'all having this damn conversation right now. Because <laughs> it's you, true You're forever. not going to find the perfect person. Okay? I just think that it's up to, to the individuals to decide that they want to, A, continue to work on it, on building one another, um, or do what these two have done. Um, or, I, mean, you know, I got to get him on next week. <laughs> I just wanted to yes. let y'all, I was going to go back and forth. I was going to close all y'all out. Yes. Um, but yeah, I think because if you, I hear what y'all saying, but at what point, you know what I'm saying? I mean, no, no one, no one is perfect. So you're not, that man or woman might be right. Y'all might be right here today. You, he or she makes you feel this type of way. But then down the line, as you begin to grow more into who you are, I know they say it's supposed to be one, but as you grow up, the other person's not growing with you. And you get up, you, you just said it earlier. I think one of y'all said it earlier. Now he or she, they're, they're here in life, and you see her right there. Now they, they meet her or him, and that person is, is right. Ken, what's that movie, that, uh, that dude, the Tyler Perry movie? Taraji P. Acrimony. Was in? Yeah. Y'all remember that? Mm hmm That was pretty much, <laughs> yeah. You know, let's go to the next question. Why stay married if you're not happy and don't put in... And don't put or, and don't put it on the kids. They are grown. They say, why stay married if you're not happy and don't put it on the kids? They are grown. LOL. The kids are grown. Some people be staying. Your kids married. are grown. So grown. if your kids are grown, why are you trying to stick it out? Well, some people are um, addicted to habit. You know, they they don't want to step out. If it's somebody that you've known for most of your life, most of your adult life, it's really a difficult situation to say, you know what, I'm gonna uproot my entire life, I'm gonna, 
you know, just totally do something different and be alone. I don't know what the dating scene is out there. It's, it's, it's a very bold move to make a whole new start. So a lot of people stay because they don't want to change everything. And, and I got something to add. Yeah. And they're afraid of what might be out there. They might meet you. you. <laughs> You. They gonna love me. And they not if ready for it. If I went back outside, over here, if I went back not, outside they, they gonna oh love no, me. Hold they've been into, like you just said, a routine that that would be a shocking thing. Like, oh! I'm gonna say some people are afraid to, to some be some people. Because, like she said, you've been with that person all that time. So a lot of stuff, like, for example, people meet on IG today. Most people, like, meet somebody on Instagram. What you doing? You, well, you a freak. You, what you doing? <laughs> it ain't no different than back in the day when they had the, the 1-800 party line. Mm -hmm. It's just Instagram now. You know what I'm saying? But some people are afraid of meeting somebody on Instagram or TikTok. I would be. I'm you scared. Know? Because you met you back, might run to that same you met back in, in the life, day though. with the you circle. Ain't gonna be scared? Do you like me? Check. Y'all remember that? No? <laughs> Do we go together? Yes or no. <laughs> now it's something different, depending on who that person may be. Some people, they get used to those habits. I'm just gonna say some people stay because they don't want to be alone. Some people are afraid to be alone. They're afraid. afraid to start over. They're yeah. afraid to re-get to know themselves and the person they've become. They're like, I, I don't know who I am without that person. What am I gonna be like without them? Oh hell no, I'm not. No, no, I'll just stay. It's comfortable. It's safe over here. I'm not going where it's unsafe. Nah. But that's not necessarily a bad thing because then you're moving with logic rather than emotion. Like yeah, but I don't. I don't scared feel too. good. That's like jumping. Some people are scared. Some people are like, I'm gonna take the risk. Some people are like, no, nah, I'll stay safe. I'm going to stay right here because it's safe over here. And I think that's, that thought that it's safe over here, that's using logic rather than emotion because how do you think them people that stayed married for 30, 40, 50 years stayed married? It wasn't because they felt good in it every single day. It was fulfilling in every single way. No, you make a choice to be in it and stay in it because that's what marriage is supposed to be. It's supposed to be a lifetime commitment. We're not supposed to be jumping around like that. So. And then you know, you sometimes, I, sometimes I get tired of myself. You know right. what? You might need to do something but with you. That's why you weren't happy with the What we going to do today? To yeah, but that comes with acknowledgement. Some people we have to realize change house, is going to go be a part of life. Everybody is not going to be the same. If you married them 30 years ago, they're not going to be the same 30 At years all. later. That's the one thing in life that is constant is change. That's so you're going to either adapt to that change or you're going to have to jump. But all also right. uh, something you touched on about uh, on the other question about being happy to be called the wife of, of this person. Yeah. So it might, you know, keep you, if that's a part of your identity, mm -hmm. then it's very difficult. If, if you've always known yourself as such and such as wife and, you know, I don't want to deal with the embarrassment. Everybody's like, oh, where's your husband at or whatever. And you're so like, question oh, are you question did you get married and are you attached to the name or the person? Mm. Are, are you attached to the title or are you attached to the person? Because you could be like, do. I love you, or you by I love being called Mrs. She such just said such. something. I'm, a, she, I'm not attracted. I'm not attached to the. Per I'm attached to the life that we built because we got the home, we got the family, we got the children. It's logical to make that work and not go with the whims of oh, it's just not feeling the love because that's not what love is. That's not what marriage is. People get married for the ceremony. They don't know what marriage is. I that always work. say that. That's, they get that's for the, the moment. Work. To the Getting all the, yeah, all choosing the pictures, to love every single day, the choosing pictures. to work it out every single day. You're not going to feel good about you every day. You're not going to feel good about them every day, but you choose to work towards it. So that's the more logical thing. Not, oh, it's not feeling good. I'm going with the wind. It's tight out here. It, it, mm. All right. Y'all having a good time so far? What's up? What's up? All right. Next question. What happened in your life that helped you decide to choose this lifestyle? I, maybe that's for you. I think that's for yeah, you. That sounds like it's for you. I was about to ask, you. you. What happened you to you? you? Your name is Mistress. What <laughs> happened yes, to you, girl? Yes, but that's for the entertainment. That's for the, I, I, I'm, I'm going to teach you some tricks later. Don't look, worry about I, it. I'm down for tricks. it. Uh, I'm going to teach you some tricks. Look, that's why I'm never jealous when it comes to the sexual side of it. <laughs> All right. All right. It's for you, girl. What happened right. in your life to make you choose it? That make it sound like something bad happened. What happened to you? <laughs> That make it sound like you traumatized. Who did this to you? <laughs> all right, all right. So, so to add to that, to add to that, was this the first time? And for those of you just watching, just tuning in, uh, I want you all to get, check out the book, the playbook to being the other woman. Um, 
So was this the first time you was eating the No. Other? Okay. I got it. No. And if we're going to be real out here, women, ladies, you ain't got to raise your hand. You, you, your feet you done dealt with a man who you knew was messing with somebody else. You liked him enough. You messed with him to the degree that you messed with him. You knew another woman's around at some point in time. If not you, your homegirl, your auntie, your mother, you know somebody who done did this. We ain't got to admit to it. Tell the truth. Just be honest. And then all what did it mean? We just dogs. We just y'all ain't dogs. Tell, we just we don't know no y'all nature. We don't we, know y'all nature. We ain't no, no ain't good. that they don't know the nature. They don't <laughs> accept the nature. So it's different from because no our mom and auntie and them didn't teach us. Oh yeah, this is also the nature of some men. Be prepared for this. Like when I got like, like a lot of people, grandma was they a hoe, but they don't want the daddies. Oh, they don't want to accept that. Some people, grandma oh. was a hoe. What? Yeah. Gr grandma is the one with the extra kids some, and not yeah. grandpa. So, so, in some family. I'm about to say, aunties. yeah, you got them grandmas some, got 12 kids, so, two different baby daddies. Some of us. The last kid ain't the daddy. All that they just ain't talk about it. Mm -hmm. All that kissing she do to all the grandkids and they come over. You don't know what grandma used to do with her mouth. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Grandma was getting it in. Grandma was a freak. Mm -hmm. You never know. You that never grandma know. got her tonsils removed. <laughs> <laughs> but the question was, what made what happened to me that made me choose this? <laughs> what happened to what, me? Yeah, what happened? What happened? Nothing happened to me. I saw the results of the 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 women around me, from family members to women in the community, my friends, women. Like a lot of these women, most of them was not married. There was no man in the house. Y'all all arguing and bickering and crying and saying, "Oh, he cheated on me. He hurt me. He cheated on me. He adult." All y'all got the same story. Some ain't adding up. Maybe we just don't understand something about men because all of y'all got the same story that they cheated and they hurt you so bad. These niggas was wrong. They ain't shit. They dirt. Nah, some ain't adding up. So I took the time to investigate and really understand, oh, okay. That's the nature of some men. My daddy was a damn player. Let's be real. My daddy, my daddy kept the cup on his arm. So I, I can understand that from that perspective. Okay, well, I got my own way of thinking like that too. I ain't with the lifestyle, but I got my own way of thinking like that too because I feel like we put too much blame on the men and not enough self-reflection again because it's easy to say men ain't shit. It's easy. Everybody say it, right? But we're not going to realize it's some ain't shit women out here too. A lot. We don't want to talk about that because it's uncomfortable. So it's easy to say, oh, men ain't shit. But what about your ain't shit friend? Your ain't shit auntie? You ain't going to acknowledge that. Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna tell your sister, girl, you ain't shit, ain't never been about and, shit. And they, gonna, they not gonna stop hanging with her. Nope. You, you, gonna, you, hang gonna, with you, her? Gonna, you gonna hang with your girl, and you know damn well the stuff that she doing. She gonna keep her house together, she gonna take care of men, she be cheating, she ain't about her business. You know good and well what you it was when you took her to, to the clinic, but you ain't gonna tell her that she ain't shit for doing it. Listen, <laughs> let me just say this. You ain't even top notch to be trying to demand a man to yourself. Like, you ain't even there. There is another way, ladies. I mean, <laughs> you have to do what is best for you. But, you know, you don't always have to share in order to have a great lifestyle. So I, I don't want people to think, because really you date and you, you do things based on your past and it could be your past experiences, it could be your past traumas, it could be things that you have not dealt with in life yet. And as you mature, you might mature out of certain types of relationships that you thought were a good idea at the time. So no one way is, is just the way. I mean, if it's you options. single, Yes, if, if you're single and that is an option for you, somebody says the right thing and you think being a part of that family is a good thing, but you know, you really have to be um, careful and mindful of your own mental health because that is a lot to deal with. I mean, we're talking about it and we're saying, okay, this is an option for people out there, but it can be uh, uh, really trying for your mental health if you are not ready to be in a plural relationship because you, it, it's, it's, a different, it's a different thing. It's a different animal. So if you think that you just skip it in there like, oh, it's about to be on, it's all sex and <laughs> you know, all, everything is all sexy and we sharing the bills and blah, blah, blah. Take care of your mental health first you need to check the person's motives that are ask, that's asking you to be in that plural relationship because sometimes, baby girl, it don't have nothing about 
to, to do with you. It don't have nothing to do with uh, what you bring into the table or whatever. They, some men's uh, dick is connected to their ego, and Ooh, they want to word. conquer. Ooh, she used that word. Ooh. Sorry. Back. Back. Mother used that word. Sorry, not sorry. No, you, you Mother speak, Kenya. You speaking, real, you speaking real facts, and that's part of the reason why I wrote the book, because so many men are out here talking that, you know, I want multiple women. I need women to understand what it's supposed to look like, what it's supposed to feel like, how your mind should be prepared. So if a man come and talking anything contrary to in line with this, beware, because he might be scheming for his ego because he's working through his penis. Thank All you. right, let's get to this one here. Now this, now they ask some questions about the book. I can, I can tell you this one here. All right, in, the, uh, in, your, in your poly relationship, how do you all, how do you guys go about engaging in sex? Not together. Wait, so y'all don't, y'all don't just do it all together one night? No, thank you. No threesomes happen. None of that. No? None of that. Say so what? Oh, how, how, do you, how, do you, how do they have sex? So do they have threesomes? Uh, do you listen at night when he hitting her since he not with you? Wait. Like, you, that's, like that's like if y'all live in the same house, room. I'm like, just saying. And y'all want you to answer the question, too. Do you, you ain't with a pound, but you want to answer it? tonight. I got a so I will say that we I'm have... I'm going to... upstairs. Now, I'll be back down here in a little bit, but I'm going upstairs. <laughs> I would tell you, we Man, have a big enough house that they have, it's a bedroom upstairs. That's her bedroom. I have a bedroom, bedroom on a lower level. I ask specifically to be on a different level because I don't want to hear no squeaks and scr- Like, I don't want to hear all that. Why you don't want to so hear that? So what it bothers you? It what phone? Why do, what, okay, what's okay, so do we feel like tonight I'm going to her room, I'll be at yours tomorrow. Either. Like, you make it like, we got to schedule like four days with her, three days with me. It's only seven <laughs> days in a week. What no, you supposed no, to do? No, no, no. Hold on. Let me, let, hold on. It's only seven hold on, days in a week. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so he let going me, let me, Hold he on, hold on. Day. Let me back hey. you up on something. Let me back you up oh, on what like, I guess. <laughs> let me, hold on. He's a vegetarian. Hold up, okay, y'all. Okay. Slow up. Slow up. King, you remember this. I guess last week and two weeks ago, y'all, you said, hell no. And then I've heard women who, uh, some women, they say, look, I ain't doing it seven days a week. I ain't doing it five days a week. You ain't some, even got this sexual some women, stamina to Some keep women up said with. they need a helper. Mm-hmm. I don't need no but, helper. Oh, seven days. So, so you giving day. it up seven days in a row no matter what? You never saying no, I ain't got a headache, none of that? Are, you are yeah. bow leg. You know, yeah. But right, he like, he, what if he want variety? He like you. He like what you got. But he might like variety. I like chocolate cake, but I don't want to eat chocolate yeah, cake every day. Somewhere. Sometimes I want a little banana pudding. Thank you. He gonna have to go on somewhere right. and find her. So you get it three times, and then she. Gets Why I gotta it be getting? It's the intimate time. You sound like you're just talking about sex. <laughs> okay, like, they, they have date night just... three times with her. And <laughs> yes, I got well, three have, nights. Well, she do got. Do we all nights. go to the movies together? We all go to the movies together. We cook. We watch movies together. We live. It's a regular house. Like if she cooked dinner, I'm coming in and washing the dishes. Oh, that's like. It's, it's, okay, it's shared like, housework. Do one of y'all get mad if the, y'all sitting together and the other one kissing? You got, I gotta get my kiss in. We too. don't do. That's a part of having boundaries. We don't do a lot of that intimacy stuff in front of one there because I'm good. But it might catch me at a wrong moment. I'm like, what? So we're like, not even gonna put ourselves to be provoked. So to he it. won't grab like one's butt in front I'm of the t- other. He, he gonna do what he do, but it's about respect and boundaries and time and place. Like I might sneak me a little little rub in. He might. You know, pass a little look. It might, All right, okay. But we're not going to be blatant and disrespecting one another because that's still my sister. We that's gonna, my homegirl at the end we of the day. We're going to go to the next question. <laughs> Wait, so yeah, I got another on. question for you, but, but mama but, is here, so I ain't going to ask you. No, but, my mama is all right. <laughs> my mama is here. I talk. This. We talk. So, okay. Um, I said it's not that it's not your penis night. Um, <laughs> it's not my big appointment. But, no, no, listen, listen, listen. I'm listening. Th- that day... That day you horny as hell. Cause some damn we get some days you just horny as hell, but it's not your day. She gonna buy a toy for me. <laughs> hey. right. It's not your you day. You know what? Can't nothing replace a black man, first and foremost. So the toy would not do. But no we have toys. a healthy life. When it's not my night, I've been taken care of. I'm good. I'm good. I got other things to occupy my time. Oh, wait a minute. Well, come on, Miss. Please Jesus. elaborate. Get the yes. book to find what out what it is. The, the no, we're gonna have to talk. Look, my default is the rose. That's okay, the only I thing I know. Can't. Is that it? Can't never replace a black man for me. I'm All right, next question. Uh, why is showing body parts a, a good thing nowadays? Why, why not save things uh, for curious 
uh, eventures? And why, why do you feel like you got to show your body parts nowadays? Because um, they mine. God blessed me. That's the question. All right, that's I it. I can Nobody show else? whatever I want to show. Trying to say. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Here we go. <laughs> Just a little piece. Hey, so, like, I understand you said it's yours. You can show it, right? Yep. Hey, so watch this. You walk outside in this parking lot, you get shot, right? It's a man that walks. Not unless past. I shoot his ass no, first. Inshallah, it's not going to happen. Inshallah, it's not going to happen. It's just an example. If you outside, you walk outside this building, you get shot. A man walk past, he in a cop uniform, right? You'd be like, help, help, hold on, come help me. Hey, officer, help me. And he'd be like, hey, baby girl, I ain't I like a cop. That. How you going to feel about that? So if you carry yourself like a hoe, you dress like a hoe. No, listen to me. Just hear me, hear me. You can't be mad if a man address you like a hoe because you got on a uniform. Just like that cop, it's a certain uniform the hoes wear, like historically since the 1920s. It's a certain uniform and a certain way that a promiscuous woman dress. So if he call you a cop and you dress like a cop, you can't then be mad if you treat it like a cop. Listen, let me tell you something. I got grown kids, all right? I'm a grown ass woman, so, you know, nobody can play any Jedi mind tricks with me. I wear what I feel like wearing. It might be something I felt like grabbing out the closet that day. It might be something I felt like I bought. But if I look good in it, then that's what I'm going to wear. I don't care what him, 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 or him says. All I care about is what this one say right here. And he doesn't mind what I wear. He, 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 does, he He's right here with me. If he so, like it, I love it. Yes. And, and, and so, we, you know, I, so I, I'm doing like this. But you may have some women, they are nice, they, you know. So should a woman not wear certain clothes because she's built in certain, in certain type of ways? You saw that school teacher. Yeah, they, I'm they just saying. Got They're like her. the school teacher. They came and she shaped. Y'all remember the picture that was not too long ago? Some women are beautiful. They yeah, have just hips. Because, but I, 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 don't think, I don't think just because if a woman has a shape and she fits it like that, She's supposed that, oh, because she's shaped that way, she's supposed to just take the bullshit that she gets. I think his aspect is coming more from a woman of modesty. Are you talking about like this, just hurt the, the damn titties out? What are you talking about? You talking about modesty. Be more specific. I think he's talking about like so, the women that so go out with specifically, pasties. specifically, yeah. it's not about the shape, right? It's about tastefully being a woman, right? If you walk outside with a bodysuit, your vagina is like shapely in your outfit, it's more often a man going to say something to you than if you're wearing a dress. You know what I'm saying? If you walk out with tights and you doing this and put, they obviously too small, number one. Feel me? So if you squeezing yourself into these tights and your vagina popping out, your ass, dude going to approach you more faster. And what's so crazy, okay, that dude I, that approach you faster, he the one ain't about shit. Just saying. I get you. Do I what you want to do. All right, y'all ready for the next one? Yes. All right. All right. Thank, come on to the mic, sis. Well, come we can't hear you. Got to come to the, the microphone. Mic, Thank come you, sis. She came ready. Come she on, came sis. Ready. Yeah, she liked and loaded. Yes. No, no, no we're we just talking. <laughs> no, this grown. Did we grown folks conversation? Um, I agree to a certain extent, but if a young man walks down the street and his pants is tight, like their leggings, and his ass is showing. Right. I'm gonna assume. Or if he ain't got no drawers on that thing, thing. Okay. If a man is tall and strong, should we assume that he's abusive or aggressive? No. Thank you. That's a stereotype. That's it. Your perception. Your perception. That's it. What society puts on other people. Yes. That's it. Yeah, but I also think. I also let me add to that. I think that we should, whoever you are, dress to your comfortability in whatever you can accept or take how other people, if you don't give a damn, or if you don't. It's the same way when you go in for a job interview, like today. Nobody comes in too much in a job interview dressed to impress nobody. They really don't. People just wear what they wear. I think you need to, you need to wear what you feel comfortable in, and however way you dress, if it brings towards that, it brings towards that because you're going to get judged if you got a dope suit, if you got a nice suit, or if you don't. You know. So. I mean. If you, if, if you, if, 
I'm going to go with the coochie uh, thing, because just like ladies. I think you just want to say coochie. Yeah. <laughs> no, because, because, because when, you, when, you, when you see that, let me say this, it's still up to a mature person not to approach a person in that manner. Even though that's how they dress it, that's what you think. They don't mean that you got to go approach them and say something and just be disrespectful. That makes sense? Or no? Disrespect is disrespect. Like, goddamn, it's a big ass titties, girl. I'm just saying. I feel like people can disrespect, disrespect right? you if you got All on right. a turtleneck. You know they what I'm can. saying? They will. They yes. They'll find some. Let's get to the next question. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Let me say this real quick. The, the biggest issue is we don't pay attention to just ourselves and mind our own business. And what I mean by that is if a woman does have that on, right, that might be all that she got. Right? Right. So if you got an issue with it, and you, you approach her, be willing to get her something else to where you see. But at the same time, regardless, that's, that's what she wanted to wear that day. Like, like you said, you said back in the day, you could tell like how a hoe dress. A hoe could be fully clothed and you never know it. That's real Listen, talk. Listen, but you more likely to be treated like a hoe if you dress like a hoe. No. Even if no. you're not a hoe. No. Listen to me. No. I, you could treat a woman that's fully dressed, right? Just like you treat a woman that's butt ass naked. Thank Real man. talk. It depends Thank on the mentality of both of them. Yes. But the problem is, we so quick to judge. Mm -hmm. If you come in here butt ass naked, it's places where people just want to be naked. We all born naked. Whatever you choose to do with what you got, do it and do that shit proud because that's what's going to make you happy. I love to see it. Let us see it. All Word. right. Wait till y'all hear this next one here. I can't wait till we hit this one. Why are women spending all this money to get a BBL or body alterations instead of eating better and going to the gym? Do a, do a big booty really give females a boost in their self-esteem? It's more so instant gratification. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's because of what media puts in front of us, their, their position of what beautiful is or what this to give you all the attention in the world. This should this go is, back to this question we just yeah, keep talking about. This is what everybody else says is bomb. This is what me and gravitate to. Get this done, you'll get a husband. It's instant gratification. The media, that's what they keep putting in front of you. It's up to you to actually believe it or think for yourself. But it's really just instant gratification. You will literally go scam to get a BBL and work your ass off paying that loan back. You gonna work the ass you just bought off to pay for it instead of taking your ass to Planet Fitness where it's $24.99. They giving out watches if you join. You ain't gonna do that. You ain't gonna take that time. But you'll sit here ride back in the Uber on your stomach and, and, and let me say this too, though. I, I don't think it's just, I don't think it's just the media. I think women, y'all control it. You just said it earlier, you know, coochie rule the world. Women see other women and they do what other women do too. So, like so that's big on that. They go, oh, look at her ass, look at her ass. I want an ass like her. And then they go and buy ass. Because they can't be for themselves. They like, damn. Pussy is power, but shit. Look at all this attention she getting. Damn. Do that's I get attention like that? But that's that deep. That's that deeper issue. You, it's coming down to yes. you want a yeah. certain type of attention. You want the self gratification. Of a, you want the attention of a man. It's something inside of you that's not right. That's that's broken. Where you. That's feel why like you can't attract the right man. An right. ancient female. I can't even think for myself. Tom, come on with it. You've been quiet all night. Uh oh. <laughs> Pussy don't rule the world. Come on, talk what, to me. What what does? This dick. <laughs> Nigga, please. Imagine for everything, Somebody for everything it is that you do. That's why they make rockets, not helicopters. Alright? To take people to the moon, right? It's this dick. For every for every moment you have alone by yourself, right? Women, I'm speaking to the women, right? Every moment you have alone by yourself, and you get that feeling, it's a great What you thinking about? Right? <laughs> you thinking about that man, you thinking about that dick. Tell him, 
cool. You thinking about that dick. When you want a kid, you want some kids, what you thinking about? You thinking about that dick. Dick rule the world. Man, don't never, ever do that one, man. I'm gonna have to call you Prince now. You king, yeah, for real. That's some king ass shit. It's about this dick. Understand that. Why y'all all I mean, think y'all be putting say? it down? <laughs> you know what? Ain't putting let, it down. Let me, let me, right. Tom, all y'all are Tom, not putting it down, brother. Tom, you just corrected me. Because I bigged him up when he said that. But I, I do got to agree with you because the man, our men do leave. No that don't mean the pussy it's ain't the powerful, it's but the, the dick is in charge. It's the Please. battle. Hey, so <laughs> they're going to kick me girl. out the man's club I'm, for what I'm about to say. But okay. They're going to have a meeting in the back. Now look, common sense ain't common, right? But two plus two always equal four, right? Mm -hmm. The size of vagina is roughly the size of an average lemon, right? Right? The size of a baby is the size of a watermelon, right? Mm -hmm. So how can the size of a penis dominate something that can birth through? Because it is no, not no, no, about- No, 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 hold on, hold on. How, how can it do that? Now look, think about what I'm saying. How much can a man make you do? Just saying dick. <laughs> now how much can you make a man do? Just saying pussy. It's an insult Everything. to the male ego, what I'm saying, but a woman strokes a man's ego. That's part of this making your is man the feel battle. like a man. And you ought to have a camera on him. But the on truth this is the truth, though. I can't lie. You know because it's not about the physical <laughs> body part that gives yeah. that man that control. It's about that man's spirit. That... Go ahead, Tone. I feel like you got it. Let me shut up. You got it. Oh, don't give it over to Tone now. Choosh. What you got? You ain't, you ain't even got to hit the bottom to please him. We can't even hear you. Please, you can hit it. Come on, Mr. Powerful. Speak up. Right. A little bit louder. You can't Say be powerful. Say you can't be chest. powerful right. in the Put penis if you can't be powerful with your voice. I just heard some women saying, uh, that you, I mean, they don't think it's about the thing. It's what not. What is it about? It's about. So what is it about? I don't think it's about the physical body part that gives that man that control because once again, I'm gonna keep saying this, the men are the leaders in the household. The men are the leaders in the community. The men are truly supposed to be the leaders of this world. So okay. his dick is just what makes him into the male, but who he is, that leader that he is, is what makes him the man that makes him in control. I love you, but I'm gonna beg to differ because a man won't be shit without a woman. So let's just be real. He wouldn't even think, got here. It's, but it's like you said, there's some ancient shit women. Some no, women need no, to humble down no, and know that. He was man first, so he was woman. gonna be here. Oh my! We were here first. But yeah. guess what? He need a woman to repopulate. Does he or does he not? Yeah, we need each other. But I just wanted to correct uh, who was here first, though. Somebody got to be the leader. Right. Somebody got to be the leader. Somebody got to be in it charge. And it should be the man, because that's how it's designed. Because Ain't nothing wrong with being a leader, but it's not about dick. It goes so back to what he said. If a man if a woman if a man ain't shit without a woman, Damn. how did you get here? Because it was a woman and a man involved. Think about what he just said. Listen. We could be on the phone, I could be at work. You could text me the word dick and nothing would happen. If I text you the word pussy, you gonna imagine. A woman saying pussy could make you pre come and she ain't even That's around you. Man. That's for weak men. You, That's for boys. Mm -hmm. Boys get excited. I, 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 mm -hmm. hear, I heard the word mm -hmm. coochie and boys even get been sent some before. So, you know, like. Boy, boys get excited about on. that. You got to get more. It's more to it. It's <laughs> more motion with that. You got to put more into that. Mm -hmm. Why are you, you so soft spoken You can't, just today. can't say the word pussy and I'm all over the place. What come with that? Does, does submission come with that pussy? Does respect come with that pussy? It's a number of things that come with everything. You need to come back up here so we can hear y'all. Don't have a side conversation. Yeah, I, I come get on the mic. Because I can't even come hear you. I can't hear you. Oh, the conversation. Y'all oh. sounding off in the back. I can't even hear Tom. It's going down now. Yes, yes. I got to do it. Yes. This is a safe He's space. Here we go. Hey, this is a, hey. You are safe. This is I ain't first never heard you speak all First week talking now. Yes, because I ain't never heard him Quiet down, quiet down, quiet down, y'all. Say to every man and every woman in here, neither one rules. We need each other. That's right. And that's what you're going to find out. Right now, that's everybody right. is on their own journey, thinking and believing we don't need each other. You say, I don't need a man. The man will say, I don't need a woman. We need each other. Ain't nobody going to move it like Talk that. Talk about it. Thank you. And, okay. and let me okay. add. Let me, that's what's let wrong me, with us. Let me, add, let, me, let me add to that. Let me add to that. To back that up. So when we said who was here first, 
We said, we said man was here first, right? And then what happened? She was taken from his rib. He put him to sleep because he said he shouldn't be what? Alone. So he, that's what the Bible said. Mm -hmm. But what if you well, don't well, believe in the Bible? Well, that's what I believe. That's what, what I believe. you don't believe in the Bible? Well, that's what I believe. Right. So, so, now, so now that's where you come with what you was talking about. Yeah. Now, you want to say what you believe, you can say what you believe. But I'm gonna you want to say on, what your belief is? Yeah, he what's your belief is? He should not be alone. Is. He need to help me. Go ahead. Yeah. And then, like you said, power to push me, which, okay, that's cool. But at the, <laughs> but at, he got, he got he power. Cool. <laughs> but, but, but the man is good. But, uh, but listen, no, this is real talk. <laughs> Over all of that, it's a mental thing. Your mind controls the body. You say your body is your temple, right? Speaking religiously wise, your body is your temple. Your mental. So if you, you got that and I got this, am I controlling your body and your emotions or am I controlling your mind? Now, I'm, I'm born and raised in Detroit. I'm on eight mile with pimping days. It wasn't to control your body. It was to control your mind. Tell it. Once I got your mind, <laughs> your body gonna do whatever I needed to do. Exactly. And that's, and and that's, that's on why both, the man is the power. That's on both ends. That's a fact. Real talk. Amen. But you gotta have values to know who gonna be the leader. Somebody gotta lead this shit. I don't think it and it's gonna be him. Leader. Depending if, on your values. If I was going back to work tomorrow, we'd be on that one. Who leads? In your relationship. All right, let's go to another question. You having a good time so far? We got 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes. Relationship hour. Let me see what I can get, try to get that we haven't counted. And while you're looking on. for that, I want to say happy birthday to be? Tyler Alexander. Uh, they said that their birthday is coming up this Friday, November 25th. So happy birthday. Happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday. All right, I like this one. Uh, why do people get into relationships without being completely happy? with themselves. Mm. Why do people get into relationships without uh, completely being happy with themselves? Because they think our partner gonna help complete them and bring them happiness and not even realizing that's gonna start within. You can't expect somebody to love you and you don't love yourself. You can't expect for somebody to make you happy. You can't even make yourself smile. How does that work? That starts with yourself. Thank you, babe. All right. Next question. What should a man eat in order for her uh, to swallow and enjoy the taste of it. Fruits and vegetables. Please, And no lots meat. of water, please. Please drink water, man. No what meat. What does it, what, what, what should a man eat in order for her to swallow and to enjoy the taste of it? Be a vegetarian. <laughs> no, for real, for real. That's real time. All right. If you eat a lot of crab legs, you want to taste that? It's going to taste like butter garlic. Huh? It's going to taste like the sea. What about sea asparagus? Salt. What about asparagus? That's going to that. make his Pineapple is supposed to be for y'all, though. Y pineapples, pineapples work both ways, though. They work ways? Yes. Okay. Fruit asparagus and, and uh, broccoli and things like that, they cause gases and things like that. So. Okay. That ain't any, any other food? Any? Eat Did some of them fruits. Pasta? What about Kool-Aid? Cool. No, thank you. <laughs> you want a little grape right. flavoring? All right, well, next, yes. next question. Does moaning turn a woman on? That's who? Does moaning turn a woman on? From the man? A man I running? Guess, eh? Yes. Ain't nothing wrong with a man vocalizing because you want to hear me vocalize. I was about to say, let me hear you hit a okay, note. Okay, so what I need to be told, like, is that? Is yeah. That I, need to, I need to know you in right, I need Right there, <laughs> all that. Hold Don't talk mic, me to hold death. Your mic, hold your mic close. Don't talk me to death, but. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, be vocal, please. Say it you, loud. You like loud. you like some talking? Yeah. yeah. Oh hell yes. What they going? What you want them to say? Listen. Listen. What they say? It, it depends. Is we making love or we? Yeah. It depends. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I so if he say right there, right there, right there. Do you yeah. hear that clapping? Don't stop. Yeah, that part. Yeah, don't okay. move position. Does it turn you on? Does it turn you on if he call you a sexy bitch while he's hitting it? You 
better be hitting it right. I'll try to tell you. you better be huh? deep. I'm anything you want. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Did she say what you said? You can say you can say just about whatever you want to if you hitting it right. If now. he choking you while doing it, yes. Yes. <laughs> But just don't try that shit outside the bedroom. <laughs> like, right. What like happens attitude. here stays right here. <laughs> I think you can do anything. Anything yeah. in the anything bedroom. Go. Does it, anything. Does don't, it, have, don't have no limits. Yes. <laughs> does, it, does it turn you on if you say, ooh, you sexy ass wearing bonnet bitch? <laughs> I like, be like if you me. like it, Dad. It was, it was <laughs> cool until so you joke. said body wear. <laughs> what? Well, not body. Like you say, but you bonnet wear, bitch. No, yeah. no. Okay, what if like, you like ass slap? No, no. But what if he like you bonnet, bitch? <laughs> I'd be like you. It damn depends. Right. It depends. Like you funky do rag having I ass. Think. Put on, put on it. Put on your purple bonnet tonight. <laughs> You do like this body, right, don't you? Did y'all have a good time tonight, y'all? Come on, put your hands together. We had a good, grown folk conversation. Wait, 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 wait. What? Wait, what? Wait. What? 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 Wait, uh, come on now. I, I got to get some stuff in Miss oh, Juicy, God. the mistress. Oh, I, I, oh, I, I, oh, I didn't know. We got another segment. Yes. I'm trying to hear about the mistress. Okay. I was I trying need, to stay I, in the hour. What we got tips. going on? What, what we got to That's make right, cause it That's right, you got the toys. You got the toys. I'm listening. I'm actually about to manufacture my own toy line. Bring the right. a little closer. Yes, it will be called the Mistress Diaries for all my ladies, and I'm coming out with some stuff for me too, because they don't get the same fair treatment as us ladies. So it will be coming in a nice little box for y'all, very discreet. Also, ladies, please, please, because I've been seeing this. Wash y'all toys the right way. What's That's the proper the, way? Okay, you're actually yeah, supposed to get a non, to please, get a non-alcohol, non-silicone-based wash water base don't get nothing with oil it carries bacteria you will literally be at the hospital because the next time you use our toy it will burn you can literally carry bacteria through yourself from having sex with your man one time <laughs> and you'll be looking you'll come home from the doctor Looking inside your drawer, which one of you damn toys and burnt this Gucci? Uh-uh, not the, no. not the toy. <laughs> no, literally, they carry bacteria. I literally was having a conversation with this girl on live because I'm starting back my podcast, and her toy head was a different color. She said, why is it turning a different color? I said, because it has bacteria that has set down in it. What do you use to wash it? She said, my dove soap is some water. So okay, you put this. Listen, are you manufacturing some good cleaning products? To oh, go yes, to? You, you know it. You, yeah, they so, so, what, so, so they supposed to wash them and tell them again? They're supposed to wash them with a water base, no oil, no alcohol. Unless you want that thing to burn, no, please. Right, right. look, raw products, other that thing. But, ladies, please, also. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell y'all this, cause everybody too dependent on this damn rose right now. I love you. Stop I, using I this damn rose it. so much. Y'all gonna electrocute y'all damn selves. Who, what is it called? The, the rose. rose. The rose. The rose. The rose. The you, flower and it got the little. Uh, the okay. No, you can get the one with the. Tongue. The thing is, when it sucks your clit, it's literally starting to fry your nerves in your clitoris, which is gonna make your man work harder. That's why y'all are so dependent on, oh, he ain't putting it down, because you fried the damn nerves in your coochie. Overstimulated the nerves, and now they need extra stimulation to... Got him working harder now than the damn back. It's like being high, trying to get uh -huh. higher. Yeah. Okay, okay, now, I got a now question. Now he got to go downstairs. Right, now he got to go downstairs to the other room. You better go Ain't even downstairs. her day. I'm going to take... I'm gonna, I'm <laughs> okay, I got a question. Business. What if you never used a toy? What can you do spicy... Without a toy. Well, that's when you put your natural toy that God gave you to work. Okay, and what's that? What, what, what I got to do? I'm so tired of hearing the women say, I don't got good knees. I'm not going to ride. I'm not going to be on top all night. It do not say all night. No. It's really all in that thigh muscle. And honestly, if you stand up and lock it back and throw it back for him while he's I feel like we chair, need a demonstration. Oh, see what happened. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, can I get a dim Okay. I, can we, yeah, you got to <laughs> That's my brother. He, like, he got to step out. He like I got to go. I was say, well, come on, fiance. Come on. Fiance. Okay, can you do get, the lap dance? Hey, uh, you the you lap dance? Demonstration. You need this, quiet. This one. Right. Cause it might be somebody in here. Take off the jacket. Take off the jacket. We gonna lay him down. No, 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 no. Cause we got one for the chair. Come on. 
Take your jacket off, baby. He do, he he been waiting on dance. this all night. He yeah. been waiting on this, I swear. He like, uh, <laughs> They about to demonstrate. They about to demonstrate. Demonstration. Here, you can use my chair. Go on Wait, ahead, girl. Can, can y'all see? Can y'all see? Come on now. Can y'all see him? <laughs> all right, so what we, what we got to do, girl? Hold the mic by her Go on, get so the mic, girl. Right. Get the mic, get the mic. Come on, help her. I know. Come on, help her. She's a, a great helper. <laughs> you right now. Okay. You don't even need all that damn knee work. It's all in the hips. Drop that thing. Drop that thing. Bag it up. He Hard like, to work. It. Have that's him it. school on the edge of that chair and just go. 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 Wait, that's the sex? That's for the sex? Yes. Oh. Also. Ladies, it's not even in your knees. Work them fucking hips. Quit being lazy. Use an arm on the chair. Then we ain't got no chair. We ain't got no couch. Go ahead, get out of the chair. Get out of the chair. Come on. Okay, there, there we go. There we go. Because right everybody don't have a stool at home. Everybody does not have a stool at home. We got. Look. Yes. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yes. With the boots. Yes, boots. Put your arm okay, underneath. Baby. Yes, boots. Sit on it, B. Sit on it, bounce. Ladies, use them booty muscles, you got some. Bounce, bounce. Cuz. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ladies, look at me afraid. Also, dress up for your man. You wear lingerie with your homegirls anyway. Yes. You gonna wear it for ladies night when y'all go have sleepovers at the hotel. Wear it for your man, set the scene. Be diving from Players Club. Reenact Ronnie, put on them outfits. Don't be afraid. Wait, so th those were two sexual positions. That's yes. how, wait, I, I don't, I don't Kenya. think, I don't think Kenya. my leg. Come on, Kenya, you like can that. do it. Oh, Lord. They, no. Table 10, it will no. never be the same ever again. Table 10 has been retired. Wait, you need to, don't you need to be a graceful with this? You can't be fooling around. Oh, okay. oh, oh, he got his own moves. He got his own, he got his own patented moves. Okay, what I gotta you do? You gotta use the man's can. They gotta go up. Up where? Up. Over here. No, up, child. You gotta be steady. You Come said, on. Did you just up. say child? <laughs> no. You gotta help him. Hold your baby. Hold Wait, on now. What am I use them ab muscles. Uh, use them ab lady. muscles. Be careful now. Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure it out. <laughs> Look, Point your toe. I am much older than what I look, okay? <laughs> Let's look. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I got you. All right. Come on. They are tight. Okay. Oh. You Use your muscles. <laughs> you should see Kenya face, though. Ooh. You should see her face. She said, oh. Okay. Help it. Okay. I, I should have wore better <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Reach under. Reach between. Go between Help your him. legs. Help go him. No, go between your legs to his. I ain't doing it right. Wait. You, I'm squeezing. Wait. No, you you massaging. You massaging. Oh, okay. She got the motion. She got the motion. Let me, let me get out this discussion before I get in trouble. All right. All right. Y'all had a good time, y'all. For real. Come on. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Everybody ain't cut out for it, all right? I'm falling. I can't get up. <laughs> Right, I won't be making it to work tomorrow. <laughs> you like making sense. How can they follow you all? Give, give yes. me all grams. I love it. I am on Instagram, Miss Juicy, M Z J U I C Y Y C H A M I S T R E S S. I also have it on a little skin coat if y'all need it. I'm also on Facebook. And you can find my podcast right now on YouTube, but it will be moving to my website. We're going to do right. some more of those demos, too, girl. I need to get some more demos, all right? We're we going to work on it in private, right. all right? We're going to do right. this. And then my girl, Ms. Right, Shanice. Come on, tell us where we can get the book and how they can follow you. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at underscore T-H-A girl NXT door underscore. So it's the girl next door. Uh, the book is available on Amazon for ebook and paperback. I do have a few copies here today, so... Come see, come get your copy. Like, I'm from the city, y'all, so support what we got going on because we got to take care of our family and our community because I've been telling people this is deeper than just sex. Like, people are killing one another about a man 
messing with another woman. Like, women are killing each other, killing these men over this. We breaking up families. Children not growing up with their daddies in the house. Men got to choose between this household of children and this household of children. And it shouldn't have to be that way if women are just giving this playbook to being the other woman. All right. Come on, man. Put your hands together. Thank you all for watching. Share this video. Thank you all for coming. We do it every Tuesday night. Uh, coming up soon, I think Tomorrow, a couple of weeks. Tomorrow, we're kicking it, ain't we? Uh, Wayne Dawson will be here with his book. He's going to be on the uh, panel, so definitely be here. Uh, everybody know Brother Wayne Dawson, Fox 8, Minister Dawson. He got a book. Uh, he's going to talk relationships, and, and uh, he'll be here to sign his book right here as well. Uh, tomorrow night, we got the all-black party. Oh, yeah. It's going to be crazy in here. This whole room will be transformed. Uh, Kenya is going to decorate it, hook it up. If you have any event, you need to call Kenya. Give them the info. Uh, Simply Balloonful. You can DM me on social media. It's simply and B A L L O O N I F U L. All right. We do this again um, next week. And we'll see y'all tomorrow. We'll see y'all on Friday. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Right. Merry Thanksgiving. However, you, however you're going to do your thing. And then uh, let's play some music. And we just on fellowship for a little bit. We're here till 11, man. Pull on up. 21300. Let me roll, y'all. Holla. Bye. Bye.